Manitoba woman is looking for answers from the health care system. Rachel Saka says doctors first told her a lump on her neck was a cyst. Turns out it was a cancerous tumor. As CTV's Beth McDonnell reports tonight, health officials are investigating and a warning. Some may find the images in this story difficult to watch. Yes, oh, that's so good. Upbeat, positive, and uh -huh. on the mend, finally. It's been a harrowing year for 23-year-old Rachel Saka. In July, Saka had a massive tumor removed from the back of her head and neck. Is this good? This is the back of Saka's head and neck now. Part of her skull was removed, replaced with a titanium plate. Now that I look back on it, it's been, it's been a crazy experience, but it's been a good experience. At its largest, the tumor was 17 centimeters wide. How it grew so big mystifies Sokka. Back in January, when she discovered the lump, Sokka says it was only the size of a toonie. It says here, everything. Sokka says she saw four doctors. She was told it was a cyst. It kept growing. So she saw a fifth doctor who did a biopsy, eventually diagnosing her with a rare form of cancer. Months later, she still doesn't understand why she wasn't taken seriously. I have no idea. So I think putting my trust in, in people like that, I mean, I, and I think everyone does, right? How do, you not tr how do you not trust a medical professional? How do, you, how do you tell them they're wrong? The Winnipeg Regional Health Authority says it takes Saka's concerns and allegations seriously and is in the process of reviewing her care. In a statement, the WRHA says we're very sorry to hear about this patient's diagnosis and have been in contact with her to include her in input and connect back with her about our findings. Saka and her parents wish a biopsy had been done sooner. She could have avoided such an invasive surgery, including removing tissue from her back. I mean, how, how sorry could you be for yourself, especially given the people that have came into my life now and, and have helped me, right? And I mean, I just want to make things better for other people. I just don't want anyone else to go through this. Saka credits the team at Cancer Care Manitoba for saving her life. Yes. Next week, Saka begins 25 weeks of chemotherapy. Beth Macton, LCTV News, Winnipeg. Cancer Care Manitoba says if you're concerned about a lump, see your family doctor. If you're still concerned after that, get a second opinion. Cancer Care also says while this is a very unusual case, people need to be their own advocate.